I can't believe it's already been a week. You guys have been waiting for it. I've been waiting for it. You know what time it is. We're back with Euphoria. So yes, today we're going to be checking out episodes five and six of Euphoria. This past week has been a struggle. I've really wanted to try to turn this on and go ahead and get into episodes five and six, and I've had to reframe myself, and it's been very, very difficult. You guys have just been showing mad, mad, mad love on these videos, and I can't wait to keep bringing them out for you in the future. I'm thinking right now the plan is, is that I will do episodes five and six today, episode seven as a midweek video this upcoming week, maybe around Thursday, and then the finale by itself on Sunday to wrap it up. I'm super excited to get into this. I have no idea where we're gonna go with this story. There's a lot of moving parts right now. Jules is really dealing with some stuff with Nate that just telling her about, you know, who he actually is. He's not actually Tyler. He's going to try to ruin her life if she tries to mess up his. And then we had Jules and Rue get together at the end of the last episode. And don't know what's going to happen with that. Fez is still somewhere selling dope to people, but we don't really know what's going on with him. So we've got a lot of stuff that we've got to work through. I'm super excited to do it with you all. Besides all that, let's just get right into it. You never know exactly what it was. I didn't know Maddie was as a little Selena in the making. Hey, the beauty pageant scene can really mess up little kids. It's a dirty, dirty business at the end of the day. Today on 18 counts of child molestation. That's it, you're done. No more pageants. Oh, no. This is no. sick. Her dreams were dashed by some random 50-year-old creep who didn't molest her, let alone even meet her. Oh, that's even worse. You have like this really big passion and then out of nowhere, the teacher that you worked with has a bunch of cases come out against them, but it's not even your fault. Dang, and then you have to give it all up. It wasn't the violence that scared her. It was the fact that she knew no matter what he did, she'd still love him. Ah, why do they gotta hit me with that sort of opening? It's always the ones that try to manipulate for so long that eventually get hooked by the thing that they're trying to manipulate. And then, they're the ones being manipulated. Ugh. Dinner's ready. Uh, okay. Are you coming? Yeah. No. Yeah. For, yeah. Okay. It's like, I don't know what you're doing in here. You look okay. I'm gonna leave this one alone, pay my battles. Who said you got sick on the ground? I don't wanna talk about it. Yeah, you got sick on the Gravitron, right? <laughs> I just keep believing that. Yo, looks good. Is there anything that this kid can't do? I know what happened the night Jules met Tyler. That seems like the most painful way to ever get a tattoo. On the on your lip, on this, this sensitive little piece of your... No! Honey, I'm barely going to get one on my back someday, let alone on my lip. You want to tell me what's going on? Let's talk when we get inside. I mean, this is 100% a misdirect, but I'm thinking it might have something to do with Maddie, maybe? That morning, Maddie went to school. See, called it, called it. I knew it was Maddie, had to be Maddie. There is no bruising on my neck. Mm, paramedics saw it. Yeah, well, they're lying. I, there's a lot of way to dispute things, but I don't think the paramedics are gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know about the carnival, but I do know she smashed some dude in the pool at McKay's. Smashed. Yes, I said smashed. That girl was taken and sm smushed against the pool wall. Probably because Nate tried to kill Maddie. What? Gotta love high school drama. It travels faster than the plague. Did you get my text? Yeah. It was about the chemical hearts. You okay, Mr. Jacobs? I'm fine. He still doesn't even know yet what this is about. He thinks it's about him, like everything in his life. God damn. Did you do it? Did you admit to it? That's the family dynamic we have going on here. You wonder where all the abuse and trauma came from? It came right down the family tree. See, love can make these sort of situations even more complicated than it already was. Even after this and even after getting pressed charges, he still does have feelings for her. Maybe pissed at her to the world's end, but he still has feelings for her. You know, it'd be amazing if they paid you off with a bunch of money and do a bunch of really cool shit. Or a business and a joke. That was a case at the wrong place at the wrong time there. Oh, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Why did they have those sound effects? 
I love her. No, I really love her. No matter how crazy she acts, no matter what she does, I love her. These two could teach a master class in manipulation. On the times when we've broken up, I know for a fact that she's been with other guys. That's the angle he wants to take. Dang, cold hearted. Nothing in high school lasts forever. You should meet her. Sometimes it can. My fiance and I met in high school and we've been together for seven years. Not saying it'll always last, but people try to make it work from high school. Just depends on the situation and how hard you try. She's still going to meetings? That's great. You're a good influence. He's just trying to be a supportive dad. You can't blame him for that. He fucking killed for me and I killed for him. It feels good to know that there's one person in this whole fucked up world who has my back. Nate hooked his claws deep into her. She would kill for him. Bruce seems really good. It's because of you, you know. Um, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. I don't think that Jules is ready for that responsibility of taking care of someone else yet because she's not ready to take care of herself. This really is like the high school version of Stranger Things. <laughs> Dang it, I would hate it when foreshadowing comes to pass in these shows. Jules is not handling this well. All your frustrations, your anger, your rage, you bottle it up. And when that snap comes, you let it explode. That's actually not bad advice. I'm gonna be honest. It's, it's tough parenting, but to have a creative and a good outlet for all of the rage and anger that you have inside is sometimes a really smart way of dealing with it. It's not everybody's, but it's some people's. They were jealous of him because she was his. I've loved every single intro so far this season. It is so different and unique every single time. The music changes, things swell, things bash. It just, it's different and I love that. No, the distancing has already started. It's understandable that Jules is starting to try to distance herself from Rue, but it just sucks. It, when people have that damage inside of them where they just only know one night stands and that sort of thing, it's hard for them to want to commit themselves to someone else and be their crux and their magnet. Oh, the entire wish list. Oh, son of a bitch. I'm Bob Ross. I knew who you were. I still didn't want to look at it. <laughs> the whole point of Halloween is to look attractive. No, it's not. It's kind of the universal rule. <laughs> no, I'll do with your ass later. Get up. Kid is such a little dipshit. Oh my gosh. Zendaya could take him easily. Now we'll have these motherfuckers standing outside of your front lawn. Do you hear me? Or even Weebay. Don't need the help from Bob Ross in the corner. It's okay. Paint your trees. <laughs> Stop acting like we boyfriend and girlfriend because the chances of that happening are like literally zero. The one innocent person in this show is just like getting thrown around like nobody's business. By summer's ripening breath may prove a beauteous. Is she quoting Shakespeare? What? I'll put you in jail. Or on a sex offender registry. I don't want to force you to do anything. You don't want to force her to do anything, but you're blackmailing her to do something? Two things don't add up. <laughs> we have like five ticking time bombs going on at the same time right now, and my heart can't take it. <laughs> Most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Has anyone ever told you that? Yes, someone actually has. Funny you should mention it. He's about to come through the door. Hey. Lex, you seen your sister? Oh, she went home a while ago. Sister comes in for the save right there. Any guy who says he's interested in you beyond just fucking you is full of shit. Okay. All right. Now, Daniel, my friend, I want to say sincerely from the entire Euphoria fan base, go fuck yourself. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm a burden. And oh, don't Man, Lexi's coming in for the win here. Saves her sister from getting caught by McKay. Helps out Rue when she's in a time of need. Lexi, Bob Ross. Bob Ross always saves. That's the true message. You're going to tell her that you'd like to confess to a crime. What crime? On the second night of the carnival, you ran into Madeline Perez. Son of a bitch! If nothing else, he's really smart. 
But holy hell, this has been the two episodes of manipulation that my heart was not ready for. <laughs> oh, that's not the biggest irony I've ever seen. Oh, hey, Nate, what's the best idea of costume for you to wear to a coming back party? Get out of jail free card. All right, so that was episodes five and six of Euphoria. Oh gosh, just getting crazier and crazier as we go along. I, I really like that they kind of break it down. Every episode has a specific character in mind that's been a part of the whole ensemble cast that they try to go into deeper about throughout that episode. I mean, today we had McKay and we had Cassie and we had Maddie. Those were kind of the three focal points. And whew, it just adds so much more levity to their decisions that they make later in time and what's going on. I still can't believe that we had the whole situation with Nate choking Maddie and then all the repercussions that are coming from it. Nate finally learning how to manipulate that into the way that he wanted it to be told. And that is the absolute key message of these past two episodes is manipulation is key. Manipulation by McKay's father to him growing up and still to this day. Manipulation of McKay to Cassie. Manipulation of cat to everyone around her especially ethan manipulation of nate to maddie and jules and phew, there's just so much nonsense going on right now and i just oh i i need to figure out what happens in the next few episodes but we gotta take a break we gotta relax we gotta take a deep breath it's gonna be fine i hate that we're having to deal with jules becoming distance to rue but at the same time, she's going through a lot right now. She's never been able to be in a relationship like this before. And Rue is still staying strong. I'm so proud of her. She's not relapsed. She's still finding her own way to be her own anchor in this time. And I hope that it sticks, but I'm worried that it won't. So if you like what you saw here today and you want to see more, if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button, I would truly, truly appreciate it. It really does help out the channel. I also want to apologize. There hasn't been a video up in a few days. I had one filmed, edited, and ready to go on Friday, but unfortunately it was blocked worldwide. Uh, thank you, Disney. Thank you, Milan. You uh, little cock. I'm sorry that there hasn't been a video up in a little bit, but there will be plenty coming out this next week. Remember, I'm going to be doing a midweek episode for Euphoria, probably episode seven, and then Sunday of a week from now, we're going to have the finale. So if you want to leave comments in the comment section down below, telling me suggestions that you would like to see on the channel in the future, I would love to hear them. And I will try to get to as many of them as possible, as quickly as possible. Also, don't forget to smack that post notification bell so you get notified every single time a new video goes live on the channel. And besides all that, 